Snoo insisted on being in the video. <laughs> Thanks, Snoo. So Snoo is going to help me today ask you a question, aren't you, Snoo? And the question Snoo wants to ask you, he's, he's on the edge of his chair here, he wants to know, <laughs> stop licking me, he wants to know how many of your embroidery pieces are out on display, how many are visible, uh, not just currently in your eyeline, but how many of your pieces are somewhere someone can see them and enjoy them, and how many of them are in a drawer. <laughs> Got Nuka down here again. I feel like this is going to be it now every time, every time I record video. So if you, like me, have a drawer full of embroideries or, you know, every uh, every decent hoop you have is being taken up currently with something that you finished and you're not sure what to do with, then grab your stuff, uh, empty your drawers, thanks, Snoo. <sighs> we are going to frame some stuff today down there and now I'm covered in dog hair very professional so my name is Scarlett if you don't know me I own stitchgothica.com and I am a big advocate of uh, wearable embroidery and just kind of getting the most out of your embroidery uh, post production so if you stitch stuff and leave it in a drawer um, I'm kind of here to change that Having said that, 90% of my stuff, I keep looking down here, I have a drawer full of shame. This is actually Jeffrey. Jeffrey was up on the wall. And as you can see, <laughs> this is this is my, my shameful attempt at blue tacking uh, some of my frames to the wall. So if you're like me, and this is this is kind of this is as good as it gets currently <laughs> that's not gonna that's not gonna stay up um if this is if if this is just, if you have my problem we are gonna frame some stuff today so get out all of your pieces dust off your 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 beautiful embroidery work that you spent hours on and get out your drawers because we are gonna frame some stuff up today oh oh yeah that's gone <laughs> So it is the last week of the bug case stitch along. If you have finished your creepy cuties, then congrats, high fives, high fives, high fives. And if you haven't, just complete them at your leisure, enjoy them, do not stress out over Mr. Peter C, our beetle. He's chill, he's chill, just, you know, when you're in the mood, uh, grab a glass of wine, stitch a bit. He's, he's cool, he'll wait, he'll wait and keep sending me photos they're amazing your stuff is amazing it is the coolest thing ever to see you know see you stitching along with me it's just the best and at the end of this video i'm going to show some of the awesome pictures that you have sent me and tag me in because your bugs are just the best <laughs> and this is actually the the main reason i've, I've got my arse in gear and learned how to frame things because you know you guys um you guys have stitched these and spent so long with them, I didn't want them to, to, to end up. Yeah, just, just no, no. So we're gonna have a look at the framing tutorial now, and then I'm gonna quickly show you um, the name tags. They're kind of self-explanatory. You just kind of cut them out and stick them on with a bit of glue. So once you've, once you've framed your bugs, you can just add the cute little name tags. There are some different options. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna have a look at some of your bugs because they are awesome. They're just just it's the best thing ever seeing seeing this stuff come to life ah. let's have a look at our framing tutorial it was my my first time ever framing anything so you can see completely beginner friendly and it looked great even though my hands were shaking and I had a camera in front of me and I was just like oh so yeah so check it out here it is um, now I'm going to show you how to mount a piece of embroidery I have this little uh, ladybug. This was my first ladybug. That was a tester for the uh, for the bug case. So I'm going to mount this in this tiny IKEA frame that I've picked up. Snoopy, shh. Snoopy will be uffing during this video. So we need some thread and a needle, a uh, 
piece of embroidery and a frame. So here we have so piece of uh, perspex, which I think I'm going to leave out. So this is mount board with a hole cut in the middle, which uh, usually frames your uh, your picture. So we want to make sure our ladybird is in the middle. But what we have here is an extra piece that goes in the back of our frame. And we're going to use this to attach our embroidery to. Uh, you want a mount board it's fairly strong. Uh, we're not going to be lacing our fabric super tight around it. So as long as it doesn't uh, snap when you put a little bit of pressure on, you'll probably be good. So hopefully one of these came in the frame that you have. Uh, if not, you should be able to get um, mount board, conservation mounting board from a craft shop. <laughs> right, so I've still got my ladybird in hoop this is as you can see where i was doing my tester stitches some of my early bugs in the bug case so get rid of that there we go we've also got uh, a needle and thread i'm going to use red thread so you can see what i'm doing properly you probably it's probably uh, beneficial to use one of the same colour as your fabric, although you're not going to be able to see it, so it doesn't really matter. Right. So you would probably want to iron your fabric, especially if you're making something bigger. Uh, I'm just going to go away now and cut this and remove these. I'm going to want just a little gap in the middle. And then remove some of these early attempts at a caterpillar. Oh, the carnage. So we now have our little ladybird. Um, obviously, it's not ideal to have a load of bits of thread uh, running through your fabric. Because this will inevitably uh, affect the tension you're going to get. This is just a really small piece, so hopefully it won't affect us too much. Now, if I hold that up to the light, you can see I've got him about centre. Yeah, I think that looks good. Uh, he's a little off grain. Now, you want to make sure, if you can when you're stitching, that you keep the back as flat as possible, uh, which is really going to help with the fabric laying flat. So, okay, he looks good. Uh, right, we ruin the frame. So, I have threaded my needle you're going to want to leave this attached to your skein. And just put just a couple of pins in. So I'm going to put a couple of pins in. Now, if you had lined your embroidery piece up correctly uh, with the grain of the fabric you would now be able to check your grain so like I said my grain is a bit skew with don't worry too much about leaving holes in your your board because of course you're not going to be able to see them through the fabric Check on the other 
other side. Yep, he still looks about centre. Right, so now we're going to go in. With our thread. You don't want it too near the edge because it's just going to pull out the, uh, the fabric threads. So we're going to come out the top and we're going to go in from the top here. Pins are not helping me very much. So now the idea of having your thread still attached to your skein. So you can just pull extra out as you go. Snoo is watching guard. Hey Snoo. You wanna be on the video, huh? to remind me that he's there. Right. And now we're going to tie this off at this end. Ideally you don't want quite this much waste thread. But there you go. Any knot will do, as long as it's nice and tight. Not too bulky. Right. And we'll turn this around. Let's check it out. Ladybird, this would be the time to... Uh, shimmy him backwards and forwards if he needs to go to one side more than the other. So I think he needs to go that way a bit. So before we tighten everything, I'm just going to slide him over. Yeah, he looks good. Great. So now we want to keep him where he is. And working from this side, we will give this a tug. And put our finger there. And then Move along. You don't want it so tight that the board starts to uh, curve or the fabric starts to pucker. You just you just want to create enough tension for your fabric to lay flat on the other side. Like so.
There we go. Go up here. Double check our ladybird. Ooh. He looks great. He needs to go up ever so slightly. So I'm just gonna give the board a bit of a nudge. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And everything seems to lay nice and flat and smooth. So. Use my finger again to create tension. a little bit of a tug make sure everything lays flat and we're going to do the same with this edge so this here and this here done there so that's laying nice and flat and we can just pop them back in the frame looking good little ladybird looking good so I'm gonna leave this out I think although he would probably fit just about so pretty. Why would we want to put him under glass? Oh. I don't believe there's a top or bottom to this. This is just um, an inexpensive IKEA frame that I got for a couple of quid. Right, and in fact, let's put that in the back. There we go. So that has a use after all. Uh, I'm just going to get a knife. And close that up. There we go. Doesn't he look good? Right. And not all done. So how easy was that? Don't you just want to go and frame something like right now? <laughs> um, I wish I had it here to show you. I mean, I'm, I'm looking around. I've got I've got like just just some IKEA frames sitting about waiting to be used. But yeah, it's it's. Um, it's already at my mom's house she's she's got it on display uh so yeah so when you when you frame your stuff take photos of it send me the photos but take photos of it because you know the moment it's framed up it's going to be off it's going to be out there uh living its best life 
I, I embarked on a quest to learn everything that I could figure out about framing and there is so much more um, like what to do if you've cut your fabric too 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 short for your frame and uh, what to do with tricky fabrics I've got a couple of pieces that were my nans and I have actually put off framing them because they're, they're old and they're delicate so I want to go into that and I want to try uh, box canvases and um, floating mounts. I, I've, I've decided this, this I'm, I, I want to do a floating mount, uh, which <laughs> is really cool. It kind of floats off of the, 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 the background, but yeah. So I want to try that and I want to do um, some, some circular stuff and just like a ton of stuff. For, for creative framing so um, if you want to join me on that um, on that journey down below uh, there's a button so if you if if you if you want me to create this course then then go and put your email in I won't give it to anyone else you know you've you've probably already given me your email address you're probably already on my mailing list but yeah so come and have some stitchy fun with me framing more stuff and get some some cool ideas and just we spend so long making this stuff we just spent hours hours and hours on this and it's just sitting here in a drawer so yeah let's frame up our stuff together and send me photos because you know once you've framed it up it's you know someone's going to want that it's going to end up on a wall it's going it, to it just it just makes such a difference so if you if you want to see me make that course come register your interest below because if if no one's interested then i i won't bother to to video everything um but if if you do come Put your email in and let's frame all our stuff together so that said we're now going to look at our name tags for our little bugs so let's uh, check that out now so now we have our bug case all finished all of our bugs are done and there's just a couple of things i want to go over now um, one of them is name tags and the other one is prepping for putting into a frame so we have these lines here and you may have um, marked yours off with erasable pen like I have I use erasable pen and you may also have used Solvi or some form of embroidery pen that you need to wash off and so obviously we want to keep uh, an idea of where our straight lines are for framing so I am just going to go over the edges and also the name tags uh, with some thread and I'm just going to do a quick running stitch around the edge uh, I'm going to start down here in this corner and this will just allow us to see where our edges are once we've uh, washed off or uh, ironed off all of the, uh, the pen marks. Might just do a little back stitch in the corner here so we have the corner marked. There we go, and once you're finished, just uh, leave a towel hanging out. I'm just going to do a little stitch so that it doesn't uh, all come unraveled. But you want to leave them on top because once you've framed, you can then kind of snip these and just kind of pull your threads out. So this is now uh, ready so that once uh, you've washed your fabric you can still see all of the uh, all of the edges you are going to get a few little um, wibbles here and there where you've changed the thread tension with your stitching so 
Uh, you don't need to get these perfectly lined up. It just helps to have a frame of reference for your original square. So I'm now going to do the same with the thread around where the name tags go. Because our name tags are uh, paper. So they go on the very end after you've framed them. Uh, so if you need to wash solvy or embroidery um, pen or something out of your fabric, we're going to need to go around these as well, so you know where those go. Again, I'm going to start with my thread on top, just so it's easier to get it out. Uh, once we're all framed up. There we go. Just going to bring that back out next to it and make a couple of stitches. Now I'm using um, just a sewing thread uh, from my sewing machine, but it might actually be beneficial just to use a single strand of embroidery cotton uh, because this is thinner. It slips through the, uh, the fabric weave a lot easier whereas if you have a thicker thread uh, it tends to hold without tension so we're at scissors so that and I'm just going to do that round each of the name tags And there we go, we are all done. And now as I've got a razorable pen, I can, I don't recommend this, show you that once you've uh, removed all of your lines, you should have a nice uh, thread border to work with. Like I said, you just, uh, snip and pull out the threads once you have it all framed up and then when you go to put your name tags some of the name tags I did lots of options just doing this quickly so you take a bit more time than this hopefully get them nice and square and then when you've finished and you've got everything framed up before you kind of put it behind glass if you're putting it behind glass uh, you want to take a little bit of glue I've just got a glue stick and then a little bit of glue and this one is for the beetle so what you would then do is you would snip your threads place your name tag down and then just remove those. That way you know you've got everything centered. So that's it, we're all done. I hope you've enjoyed stitching this bug case with me. I very much enjoyed seeing your photos, so keep those coming. And I look forward to more cool projects with you in the future. So now you know what to do with your name tags and that's it, that's it, we, we've, we've finished, we've finished our bug case. It's kind of sad, it's kind of sad but awesome and I'm so looking forward to seeing your stuff so please, please, please send, send me your pictures, send me your pictures. I want them, I want them all, I'm going to put a gallery on the website because it's just some of the, some of the bugs you guys have sent, it's just there are so many, I have an army of spiders, I'm building an army of spiders. So yeah. So, yeah, this is the end. This is the end. So if you have enjoyed this, uh, please tell other people. It's completely free. So spread the bug love and hopefully we can get, you know, we can get my army of spiders <laughs> stitched. And, um, yeah, and if you, if you want to do more framing with me, if you want to see everything I make and get ideas and 
I will photograph and video everything and email it to you and I'll create a course and we will all frame all of our embroidery and there will be no more drawers, <laughs> no more drawers and drawers and drawers and, and just, just, no, no more, no more. It, it should all be out on display. Your, your stuff is amazing. It should be on a wall somewhere. It should be somewhere that people can see it and enjoy it. And it looks its best framed, I think. Uh, yeah, um, frame, frame stuff. I mean, I've, I've got the before picture where it's just, it's basically like the stitch equivalent of a doodle. And then framed, it's just, just you know, one little ladybug. Um, but yeah, how much better does it look once you frame it? I've, you know, I've got this sad little caterpillar and he's basically, you know, ready for the bin because, you know, this is, but same amount of effort went into this as the ladybug, but once it's framed, how awesome does it look? And yeah, that's just sort of the tip of the iceberg. I, I have so much more stitchy things to frame and so much more um, stuff to that I want to show you. So yeah, I, I love the hoops, but uh, it's a bit limiting and I'd really like some of my hoops back. I don't know about you. So if you want to come with me on that journey, I am going to wait and I'm going to frame this once I pick my favourite framing method. So I will be doing that. Um, and if you want to see that again, put your email below and we'll frame our stuff together. Um, so I guess all that's left now is to say thank you if you've joined me for the bug stitch along. If you're still stitching some new pictures, I'm going to put up a gallery on uh, my website so we can see all of the bugs. And yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely the best bit about having done a stitch along, seeing everyone's stuff. Um, it's been awesome. So keep your pictures coming and uh, yeah, thank you. Um, let's see some of your bugs. So those were some of your bugs. Oh, I, <laughs> they're just so awesome. Thank you so much for, for joining me and, and for stitching them. I, I, am, I have an army of spider pictures. <laughs> this, is, this has been just magic. So thanks again. And again, if you want to come frame stuff with me, come click the button and let's go and frame all of our embroidery together and get everything up on walls where it belongs, not in drawers. Uh, yeah, so thanks again and hopefully I'll see you guys soon.